Hello there, Tarnished. Gideon here. I have a riddle for you today. What is long, curved, and can occasionally cause a form of bleeding if used roughly against another Tarnished? I'll let you think your answer for a moment. All right, time's up. The answer is 90% of the curved great swords. Huh? Then what makes the gasoline blade so special? Well, for starters, the unique ash of war of this weapon is really good. Now that's a lot of balance. On paper, the Morgan's toenail requires a slightly more specific build and lacks the versatility of something like the Dismounter, for example, which has the capability of being infused and thus can utilize any desired ash of war. But this sword doesn't care about infusions or your feelings.
Oh no! this weakly minded individual otherwise i don't think you can go wrong with this weapon it has range hits hard procs bleed the ash of war is really good and every part of the move set is useful the only negative thing i have to say about the pimp sword named morgoth is that these requirements are a little bit too high what it's just an ordinary oh my goodness fight thanks to elden ring's genius game design you can get attributes for fucking free you are lacking dexterity just use these things you need a bit of arcane? Well then wear this on your head. You're going to look pretty fucking stupid. But hey, why look good when you can be good at PvP, right? Yes. Hell, maybe if you shove this up your ass, you'll get the ability to fly. With all this nonsense in mind, the Morgoth's Feet Cleaner gets 10 out of 10 for invasions and arenas as well. This is a certified omen classic. And for everything else. Number 15. Lane Del King Foot Lettuce. The last thing you want to see on Landell is the dogs of an omen. But as it turns out, that might be what you get. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, shout out to the channel's patrons and members who provide the budget to keep this show going. See you in the next one.